and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. Well, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. the lineups we've just been given. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? It has to be the brains of the operation, Tony Kroos. He's another one of the elite passers in world football, and his consistency remains high at, at both club and international level, and one of the first picks in the team. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Another throw in. Now it's Benzema. Umtiti. Benzema. Who's going to make this theirs? He's made certain that won't get through. Modric. And it's Jordi Alba. Now it's Luis Suarez. It's on a plate. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Oh, well played. Kept cool and dealt with it. Bale. Thrust towards the front line. To say that was an exemplary tackle, stopped him dead in his tracks. Coutinho drills one in. Keylor Navas palms it away. Luis Suarez goes wandering offside. Oh, tell you, only just. It was well spotted. Messi. And he's whipped it in low. Clearance and very necessary. And it's Bale. Looks to thread it through. Luis Suarez with a beautifully timed run. Well, that's where he wants it. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Balls over the line, and it is a corner. The outcome could so easily have been different. 
Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better, and any other time it would have sneaked in. Modric. And back to base. Keeper's got good distance on that. And Titi gets it away. Isco. Now it's Benzema. And Titi gets it back. And it's Luis Suarez. Now the pass. Dinks one in. Keeper's ball. Titi PK pumps it forwards Sergio Ramos does well there, alert Messi battles to win it back Now it's Benzema Pumps it upfield. Luis Suarez with the ball through. Messi, chance! He's had a shot! Hits it! Goal! Barcelona! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. It's a good-looking cross. On the volley! Oh, it's gone in! Unbelievable. Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. You're going to have to go an awful long way to see a goal better than that at this or any time of year. Well, the fact that the service was quick always makes it harder for defenders, but that finish was textbook. Real Madrid grabbed the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. And the cutback. He's delivered all right! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. It's come loose. Isco knocks it away. Ball's loose, who's getting there? It has gone out. Now it's Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez pushes it out wide. He's gone for it, and he's found the net! What remarkable powers of recovery! With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. And that's what the game is all about, find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. The whistle goes for half-time. What a good half. They've gone blow for blow, and it's 2-2. And so we're off again. Now it's Bale. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Has a pop! Goal! Barcelona! And the comeback is complete!
Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Barcelona take the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Isco. Out to the left it goes. Passes it through. What an adventurous run from a defender. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Rakitic. Goes long and forward. Still well to tidy up the situation. Modric tries a through ball. Bale looking to get on the end of this. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. It's Rakitic. Coutinho. Decent ball. He's dealt with that well. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Looks to slip it through. Messi, and the counter is on. Looks like a good ball through. Nacho gets good distance on it. Modric tries to dink it in. Bale looking to get on the end of this. Can he find a finish now? Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Tries a through ball. And it's Luis Suarez. Now it's Messi. A chance! I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. Rakitic plays it short. Has a hit! Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. It's gone a long way up and away. Now it's Philippe Coutinho. Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. Benzema. Aimed forward, out wide to the right. Good challenge, he just stood firm. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Keylor Navas gets it upfield. Promising cross. Ah, that was just asking too much of his teammates by playing it in so early. Daniel Carvajal. And it's Bale. No, that's not going to find its target. Now it's Benzema. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? PK with the ball through. There is the genius of Luis Suarez! And surely now, the result's beyond doubt. Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside, and I think you have to praise them all round on that one from the pass and the finish.
Barcelona take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Looks to slip it through. Ball swung in. And the ball is out of play. Philippe Coutinho is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Tony Kroos has got himself a free kick. Ter Stegen catches it safely. Nacho. Sergio Busquets gets it back. Nacho battles to win it back. Swept in. They are rampant. And surely that settles it. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Barcelona grab a three-goal lead. It's just too easy. And the defence can get it clear. Carvajal. Jordi Alba comes sliding in. And the referee brings it to a close. What a match, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity. Truly deserving winners. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Barcelona made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know? It's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. Well, thanks to Jim, we both wish you a very good evening. Oh, 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 oh,